Hey, thanks for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, festival edition, we are with Susan Worlds. She's with Tomato Fest. Susan, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Have amazing hair, Susan. I have to say that. I appreciate, well, thank you. I appreciate the wave and the curls in anyone. So it's awesome. <clears throat> okay, give us a little background on you, Susan. Where did you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Okay, uh, I actually grew up in Lauderdale County, Tennessee, which is a rural community in West Tennessee, a little small community called Darnville O'Riza. My daddy was a farmer. Um, and then we actually moved to the city of Ripley in 1977. And I have been here ever since. So um, actually married, have a daughter and a granddaughter. Uh, my husband is the fire chief for the city of Ripley. And so uh, they get voluntold uh, to do a whole lot and uh, some of the greatest volunteers uh, ever. I am also uh, executive director of the Lauderdale Chamber and ECD office. And the Tomato Festival and the County Fair is two of our largest events that we hold for our county. Perfect. All right, let's jump into Tomato Fest. I always ask these three questions. What does it look like? What does it smell like, meaning food? And what does it sound like, meaning music, environment, and things going on? Okay, what does it look like? It's it's huge for a rural uh, festival. We have anywhere between five and 6,000 people come through two days. It gives us a chance to honor our heritage of uh, the world famous Ripley tomatoes, the best tasting tomatoes in the world. It's because we're located along the Mississippi River and it has something to do with the soil that no other uh, community or county has. Um, we have uh, bouncy houses, petting zoos, corn truck show, bike show. We have uh, lots of live uh, entertainment on main stage. The food is unbelievable. <laughs> we have probably 20 to 30 food vendors that are set up. Um, actually, it runs Friday on, it's July the 14th and the 15th. It runs all day on Friday, Friday night, ending at 10 p.m., all day Saturday, and we end at 10 p.m. on Saturday night. Very cool, very cool. Now let's talk a little bit about the fall and the upcoming events that you have going on in the fall this year. Yes, Lauderdale County Fair, September the 13th through the 17th. We are the youngest fair in the state of Tennessee. We will be 20 years old this year. We um, really increased our attendance last year. Uh, a lot of it had to do with our main stage entertainment. It was a journey tribute band. Uh, we went from about 11,000 to 25,000 in attendance. We have an awesome midway company that actually you know, has rides like every other fair is, but we focus a lot on agricultural because we are an agricultural community. Sure. So, um, we, you know, we invite everyone to come in. We are a tourist destination in our community. We have a lot of tourism. And so we love when visitors come to um, our area. Perfect, perfect. What is your role in all of this, Susan? Um. It, okay, I was going to say it would be easier to tell you what I don't do than what I do. Uh, we're actually the facilitator. We are actually responsible for the events, getting all the sponsorships, getting all the entertainment lined up, making sure everything goes off without a hitch, um, making sure everyone is where they should be when they're supposed to be, and making sure just that the events come off. Uh, perfect. Uh, the weather is our, um, you know, is our biggest challenge. Both events are outdoors. Usually during the tomato festival, we either have rain or it's 110 degrees. <laughs> uh, so, you know, with my husband being the fire chief, we're not allowed outside when the heat index <laughs> is above 105. So uh, he really makes me stick to that. Same way with the fire. Rain is an obstacle, uh, you know, a big challenge for us. Uh, even though the stage is covered, we have been truly blessed with grant dollars. We were able to build a livestock barn uh, in the past couple of years and a uh, covered stage. So our biggest challenge with all of this is just um, is just the weather. You know, in good old West Tennessee, if one raindrop falls, it's flooding and no one should get out of the house. So uh, just one raindrop 
um, can really, really hurt our events. Um, but there's a lot of people that really support our events. It's more of regional events, I guess, uh, where they come from a regional area to show support. That's, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Susan, what's the reward in all this work for you? It is a lot of work for you and your staff and all your volunteers and people that, where, where does that reward come for you? Um, it's just the thankfulness that you get. Uh, people actually come up and thank you for what you do. Uh, the people, our biggest asset, and, and what I love the most is the people. We have people that come from Georgia for the Tomato Festival. We actually had a gentleman that turned 98 years old uh, from Atlanta. Uh, he had some health issues. His wife contacted us and said, my husband's favorite food is tomatoes. And I hear that you are home to a tomato festival. I said, absolutely. So she actually brought him uh, to Lauderdale County, which was about a six hour trip. We made him to made a king for a day, uh, really worked our event around him. And it's just the rewards that you get from the smiles. Um, and, and, you know, hearing conversations of people, how far do they come? We give away things to people that travel the furthest distance. But the fair is a lot of work. But when you get out on the midway and you close your eyes and you listen and you hear the laughter of the children, that's your reward. It, you know you're doing something right. Yep. So I would say it's the people. Yeah. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. A couple fun questions because uh, okay. I'm in live music and live entertainment. We travel all over the nation. So I like to survey the U.S. and I like to find out. So the first question is this. What is the best concert that you've ever been to? Ooh, the best concert that I have ever been to was by Toby Keith. Oh, there you go. There's Loved a good it. old Midwest boy. All right. <laughs> All right. Dead or alive, you could bring one musical act to Tomato Fest. Who would you bring? Are you ready for this? Because you're you're looking at me and you're going to think, no way. Someone I've always dreamed of seeing my whole life. Kid Rock. Oh, man. That would bring a party and a lot of fundraising to your town. For <laughs> sure. um, have you, last year, Kid Rock did a lot of, he headlined a lot of major festivals um, instead yes. of doing his own tour. That's, that, was, that was a good opportunity to, uh, to see him. I don't know if I've ever seen Kid Rock, but uh, that one would surprise me a little bit. Um, for <laughs> sure. We sure enjoy his bar in Nashville. It's one of our favorite places to hang out. Um, they just the variety of music there is is incredible. So we always enjoy that. So Susan, I've been a, I've, I've been a little selfish. I've I've asked you. Been I'm the one asking all the questions today. This is a segment of the show. You get to ask me a question. What's a question you would ask me? Okay, I would like to know what's the greatest performance or concert that you have ever seen. Okay, so greatest performance. I think I like that word better than concert. I'm going to say Garth Brooks merely from a, from an entertainer standpoint. Um, the the nonstop level of energy that he displays in his show is is incredible. And I don't know his routine. Um, like you hear stories of Tim McGraw, who is just incredible shape, yes. you know, and and keeps his gym on the on the on the semi and behind his bus and blah blah blah. But Garth does not appear to be that dedicated to his fitness. But he must because I watched I watched that performance and then to have heard that he did three in that day with the same intensity. Like I wear boots on stage and, you know, we we we're pretty interactive and energetic. My feet are killing me at the end of of that time. So right. it's got to be the same. And I just uh, I really admire, um, you know, not only his musical ability, but his performance in the show. That's a fantastic question. That's a great question. Um, sure. Susan. How do people find out more about Tomato Fest and the other events that you have going on there? They can actually visit both events on our Facebook page, Lauderdale County Tomato Festival, Lauderdale County Fair, or they can actually visit our website at lauderdalecountytn.org, or they can actually reach out to us at the chamber, 731-635-9541. Oh, and they do answer the phone. For sure. Yes, we do answer the phone. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us, Susan. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. You, you have a wonderful day. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle.